Doc is In is sponsored by Amada Senior Care. Welcome back, Fox 56 News' Chief Medical Contributor, Dr. Ryan Stanton, is in studio with us this morning. Good to have him back. He's talking about a recent breakthrough and how pregnant women can deal with morning sickness. They have your attention. Yeah, we actually have a common theme this morning. Both segments are going to be dealing with pregnancy, both very different, but we're going to talk both this morning and at this one here in about 30 minutes as well, so stay tuned that for that for sure. But mm -hmm. this one could actually be a breakthrough. Scientists have uncovered why many women experience morning sickness during pregnancy, raising the prospects of a cure for the condition. The study revealed that a hormone produced by the fetus is the trigger for the nausea and vomiting in pregnancy, which is extreme cases can require hospital treatment. Crucially, women who have naturally low levels of the hormone prior to the pregnancy tend to be more sensitive to the surge of the hormones with the fetus called GDF-15. In the first trimester, nausea and vomiting affect about 80% of women at some point during that pregnancy, but about 2% will have it well beyond experiencing an extreme form of morning sickness called hyperemesis gravidarum, which can lead to weight loss, dehydration, and even hospitalization. Until now, however, the underlying cause of pregnancy sickness had been unclear. Basically, women don't have as many symptoms if they have a significant amount of the hormone prior to pregnancy and thus accustomed to the presence of that hormone when levels increase with the development of the fetus. This breakthrough could lead to the way to future treatments that could be a gestational game changer for many women, which would be fantastic. My wife being one of them that was sick from the time uh, of baby starting to the time of delivery and even afterwards. So this is a huge issue for a lot of women. And so if we could get this changed and fixed, it could mean a big difference for those 40 weeks for these women. Yeah, I mean, I hear of a lot of women who, instead of gaining weight their first trimester, have actually lost weight because of uh, morning sickness. Yeah, my wife didn't actually get to her pre-pregnancy weight until week 20 mm -hmm. of, each of, her uh, each of the two pregnancies. And so, you know, this is a big deal. Uh, and now seeing this potentially getting that. But the thing to keep in mind is you do have have to have that know ahead of time and plan it so you can get those hormones on board. All okay, right. great information, Doc. We'll look for more from you at the end of this hour. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you very much. Doc's out for now, but he'll be back in later. And we're back with another half hour of news as well right after this. You're watching Fox 56 News, our home, your news.